Welcome back. We're talking with Jeremy Scahill, the author of Dirty Wars, The World is a Battlefield. And uh, it's quite a, quite a piece of work here. This is uh, extraordinary. You, you, uh, you, you mentioned JSOC. We were talking about the Joint Special Operations Command. Is that Correct. what JSOC stands for? Um, tell me about that picture of President Obama sitting there. You told the story uh, on the on yeah, our TV show. Talked, the, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I'd love for you to share that story with our Yes, yeah, so, I mean, every, it's, it's become one of the iconic images of the operation that killed Osama bin Laden, where you had uh, Secretary of State Clinton, Defense Secretary Gates, uh, the Chair of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mullen, Vice President Biden, and President Obama all in this room. And sometimes people say it's the Situation Room. It actually isn't. It was a uh, it was a sort of auxiliary, a smaller auxiliary room off the side of the Situation Room. And what had happened that day is President Obama went and played golf to try to throw off the press, all things normal. He played nine holes instead of 18. This was the day after the correspondence. It was the day after. It? In fact, there's a story. I was story. at that correspondence. Oh, dinner. you were? Yeah. So you know what happened? I, I, we didn't talk about this the other day, but what, had, what happened at that correspondence center is that George Stephanopoulos had... Uh, had um, gotten wind of uh, of the fact that there was some sort of increased activity at the uh, at the White House and that they were canceling tours for the next day and approached one of Obama's senior advisors I think I think it may have been uh, the chief of staff at the time daily yeah. and said what's going on you can't I mean and Stephanopoulos knows how these things work and he said sure. you know I heard all the tours have been canceled and then they said that uh, they made up something about a plumbing issue in the White House or something so <laughs> but it was at the correspondence dinner so the whole thing was and they debated whether or not the president should even go to the correspondence dinner because originally it, the operation was scheduled to take place during the correspondence dinner. Wow. And because of weather uh, <laughs> in Pakistan, Admiral William McRaven, who was running the operation from the ground, uh, he called off the operation. Yeah. And so it happened the next day. The president goes for golf. He comes back in. And while the president had been golfing, uh, McRaven's deputy at JSOC, uh, this general named Brad Webb, had set up their command post off of the Situation Room. And what, what they, the reason they did that not in the Situation Room is they wanted to insulate the president. If it was a covert operation, if it had gone wrong, they wanted to make sure that the president wasn't necessarily familiar with all the details so no that he Jimmy could Carter plausibly deny it. Right. right. So they're all huddled in this room. President Obama comes in to, to an almost empty situation room and says, what's going on? And they're like, oh, well, sir, we were going to have you sit in here because JSOC's going to run this from the other room. And the president says, no, I want to be in the room. So he goes in and all the chairs are already taken. Everyone, of course, stands up offering the president's chair. So he sits on a folding chair in the background next to General Webb, who was the JSOC liaison in the room running the operation. So that's why you don't see President Obama at the head of the table in this uh, in, in in this room, this tiny little closet room off the Situation Room, because it was being run by JSOC and not actually by President Obama. He was an observer like everyone else. Well, and uh, I mean, he he's not a military man. He doesn't have the background. Of course, it, yeah. it, 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 had he tried to run it. Oh, it, could, it, could it would have been, been a, it could have been a disaster. Right. right. I mean, well, we, we, what we saw happen under the Bush and Cheney administration is that you know, Chicken Hawk Cheney was running all sorts of operations. He was playing right. spy, going to the CIA and telling the analysts that they weren't you know they weren't producing the right kind of intelligence. Right. Rumsfeld had an old, whole office set up in the Pentagon, the Office of Special Plans. The whole job was to try to discredit the CIA. I mean, you had right. uh, two agencies at war. So. Um, I'm not saying that there's anything at all inherently wrong with having the military people directing the operations. It just was, it's kind of a metaphor for, for who's in charge of these operations. It's, yes. in, it's interesting. What lines are being crossed there? But it is. Interesting and, photo. And, and, and ironic. I, 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 fascinating. We're talking with Jeremy Scahill, the author of his new book, Dirty Wars, The World is a Battlefield. Uh, soon a movie coming out by the same title. And we'll be back with more of Jeremy right after this. <laughs> 